Hey witches, it's been a while. I've received this witch casket box through the post and as requested, I'm going to unbox it on camera for you. In the UK, these retail at £29 a month with free postage and it is a continuous subscription. Throughout Europe, it's £34 and the rest of the world, £36, all with free shipping. I've taken it out of the packaging just because it had my address on it, but other than that, I haven't looked in it yet. So let's get into this. From what I've seen online, they always come in this little booklet at the start just to tell you what that month is about. This is April and this month it's intuition. Just on the first page of the leaflet, it goes into a quick description of what the casket is about. I'm not going to read it, but you're welcome to pause the screen and have a look if you want. The first thing we have in this casket is this beautiful art piece. I think it's the perfect size to pop into your book of shadows, which is great because then you don't have problems with storage solutions or where to put them on the walls. With the back being blank, it's also perfect to stick into your book of shadows and not worry about ruining one side of it. Absolutely beautiful. The next item is this booklet with the art of divination. I think this is brilliant. It's fantastic to have a booklet of information and not just like a little leaflet or a pamphlet inside a casket. And it's pretty decent size as well. I mean, if I turn to the size, it's not a tiny little bit of information. That's great. The back reads, The Art of Divination. Divination is a practice seeking knowledge of the future or the unknown by supernatural means. There is an art to divination. It is true that many people seem to have a natural gift. But this is also something that can be mastered over time as you learn to tune into your intuition. This book is a basic introduction to the most common methods of divination. So just going to have a look now into this booklet and I'm greeted with this beautiful art piece which I think is absolutely glorious and the art of divination. As we go forward I think it's preparing, yep, during and after which is great. And if you want to look at this and pause it, I'm not sure if it's all on screen, but you're welcome to different parts of how to scry and different ways of scrying, which is brilliant. Even for a seasoned practitioner, it's always fantastic to have something like this to go back and look through. There's a couple of blank pages here for notes, I guess, if you want to set them down and then a further in-depth look at the tarot. The next item I'm pulling out now is a third eye bath and shower ritual. Um, everyone that I've seen do these online, they have some sort of ritual in them, which I think is fantastic. I'm just going to open this up now off screen. The first thing it comes with is this little card. You're welcome to take a look. Pause the screen, write it down if you wish to. You'll have to excuse my cats going crazy in the background. Then we have some dried lavender and some dried jasmine flowers. Also some lavender bath salts and this little bag to put them in, which is great. So everything doesn't end up going and sticking up your plug hole. This next item I'm pulling out now is, oh, it's a tea. And it's Pathetic Dreams Jasmine Tea. That sounds very nice indeed. Brew with intent and drink mindfully. So I shall be doing that later, I should imagine. I seem to have a second bag of tea. I'm not sure if that was a mistake, but I'm definitely not complaining.
then it looks like we've got an altar piece here lovely it's a lovely little pentacle that's great and it feels like uh wood to be fair it doesn't feel plastic at all yep and underneath it comes through so it hasn't had like any metal in this any screws and it's kind of there you go you can see it there so i might actually give you a little bit of grip when you put it on your altar so it doesn't go sliding about oh and we've got a little enamel pin i know enamel pins aren't for everybody but i think they're absolutely fantastic and i love this little crystal ball with the third eye in it fantastic brilliant very nice i think i'm gonna grab this little pouch out because it's very intriguing it's like a velvety pouch and it's got the same symbol on as the pin which i think is brilliant let's have a look and see what's in here very excited for this indeed Ooh. oh it's a little card okay Oh, it says amethyst on it. Very, very happy. I'll just leave this here for a second in case you want to have a look. Let's get this amethyst out. Oh, it's like a little thumb stone or a palm stone. It's got a little third eye on it. I absolutely love that. I think it's beautiful. Little chip in the top, but I think that's natural. I don't think it's damaged. Yes, very happy. Actually, let me hold it up to the light so you can get a better look. There we go. And as you can see, if I tilt it, you can see it is engraved, not just painted on, which is great. Love it. I think I'm going to grab this bag here. Oh, it's got another third eye on it and some cards. That makes me very excited. It's actually a really nice material. It's like a cotton. Have a quick look inside here. Yeah, a bit stuck. There we go. Oh, yep, yeah, cards. Brilliant. There is something else in that bag which I'll grab out in a minute, but have a quick look at these first. Going down the front, it's got all their different meanings there. I'm guessing that's what to do with in the bag. And then it looks like maybe 10 i think there's 10 cards there so that's fantastic oh and on the back is all their meanings which is great so i was wondering what they'd mean but obviously we don't need a book with these because everything is written down right, i'm just going to look in this bag now and see what's left there oh it's another piece of amethyst ah and all the symbols that are on the cards that's brilliant very nice very happy with that this little purple baggie in the back is calling to me so i'm gonna have a look now it looks like some sort of key and a tassel maybe a bit of string in there which is great and it's got the same symbol on as the witch casket pin and the little baggie so i should imagine you can't get these anywhere else okay the tassel is attached to the key this is great i should imagine for like unlocking and opening works it's just great fantastic to work with intuition as well i think it's good to note as well that this key is metal it's not plastic or anything flimsy so that's fantastic and then grab this out let's have a look yeah oh i'll leave this on the screen in case you want to pause it for ways that you can work with keys um i think it's great that you get these little pieces of information in there if you're not used to working with certain objects and items I think it's great to have that there. Let's have another look. 
oh i've actually wanted these for a little while now these are to trim your wick on a candle and this is upside down but you can see there how it would work and these are metal as well they're not anything flimsy at all so that's fantastic yeah i'm really happy about this actually because i've been meaning to pick some of these up Another thing, actually, I just want to point out is these. is This is fantastic because these dissolve in water. And that's all the extra packaging that it come with, apart from the bag. But obviously, that can't be helped. And then there's just the box, which can be recycled. So that's fantastic for eco purposes. Okay, let's get this last book out. Oh, it's quite heavy, actually. So it's a Witch Casket Original Unscented Soy Wax Candle. And there's the logo. Okay. A natural soy candle. Make your magic more potent by anointing, dressing and preparing with intent of your chosen ritual. Okay, that's good. So then I can do with this whatever I please. Oh, it's, it's actually in a ceramic pot. No wonder it was so heavy. Oh, that's actually really beautiful. That's a nice pot to keep afterwards. Yeah. I will definitely be keeping that and using that after I've used the candle. Put some crystals in it. Nice. I guess if this wick was longer, then I could use the trimmers on it like this. But it's already just a centimetre. So there's no point with this one. That's so great. Pop it back into the box. We have one thing left in here, which is the scroll. Let's have a look. It's got a sticker on, so I think I'm going to open this off camera. Hopefully I don't rip it. Also, keeping with the theme is the eye. Okay, I got it open and I didn't rip it, luckily. So let's have a look. I shall pop this on screen. I'm not going to read it out. But as before, you're welcome to pause and have a look through. I'll definitely be giving this a read through later myself. I think it's a good few points they've covered here, so that's fantastic. So I'll just pop it back up now. So in this casket, we got the scroll, the soy candle, the little key, The Oracle deck and Amethyst dice. The Wick Snippers. The Pentacle for your altar. Pop that up there. The little velvet pouch with the same logo on, which is fantastic, with the amethyst in. The enamel pin, which I think is super cute. Two things of tea. I think it should be one, like I said earlier, I'm definitely not complaining. Uh, pop them over there. The ritual for the bath or shower. The art divination information booklet. My cat's just decided to join me again. And the artwork. Is Lagatha. 
And off she goes. And of course, oh no, she's back. Okay, and of course the information leaflet, which I didn't look into. If you want to, it's got everything in there and the socials on the back. That's everything you get. It's £29 a month in the UK. I think that's really worth it, to be fair. I shall leave their socials to their Instagram and etc. on the next slide. <laughs>